Okay, I'm going to run through the three laws of logarithms and how they can be used. Now, the first one that we're going to look at, uh, we're going to do this through examples. So, I'm going to look at log base 5 of 15. Okay? Now, what we can do is we can say, well, okay, well, 15 is actually 3 times 5. Okay? So, then, this first law allows us to write it as this, log base 5 of 3 plus log base 5 of 5. So, because there was a times here, we are allowed to split them and the two logs get added together. So, one thing to notice from this is that log 5 of 5 is just 1. So, that's log base 5 of 3 plus 1. Okay? Uh, it also work. you know, you could also be given a problem that requires you to use it in the opposite way. So, for example, if you had log of, um, let's say, 9, 1, plus log of 9, let's change this to 11, actually, log 9, 11, plus log 9 of 2, then that is log 9 of 11 times 2. So you could bring them both in together. So log 9 of 22. So that's something that you can use. Now, the second law allows us to do things like this. Um, let's begin with log of 5 uh, let's think about this. Let, let's use 15 again. Let's use 15. Well, you can notice that 15 you could write as, let's say, log 5 you could write 15 as um, 30 over 2. It's perfectly reasonable. So that means I can write this as log 5 of 30 take away log 5 of 2. So you can see you can split a division inside the logarithm into a two pieces one is taken away from the other. Okay? So let's use an example. Let's have log base 4 of 8 take away log base 4 of 2. Well, that is log base 4 of 8 over 2. So log 4 of 4, which we know to be 1. Okay, because 4 to the power 1 is 4. Now, if you wanted uh, to see this in another way, okay, you could also get to 1 by working out the values of these two logarithms. So log of 4, 8, okay, log so 4 to the power of something is equal to 8. Well, that is 3 halves. And 4 to the power of a half is 2. So 3 halves, take away 1 half, is 1. OK? Right, so the third and final law Go quite right. There we are. Okay, third and final law. This one uses uh, the index power. So let's say I had log 5 
of 8. Well, I know I can write 8 as 2 cubed, for example. Now this third law allows us to bring that 3 down to the front of the log. So in actual fact, log of base 5 of 8 is equal to 3 lots of log base 5 of 2. So if I was given another example, so let's say 3 log 6 of 4, then that is equal to log base 6 of 4 cubed. And log 6, now 4 cubed, 4 fourths of 16, 4 sixteens is 64. So log 6, 64. Okay? So you can work in either direction. The three laws are very powerful and will most likely be used and ask you, and you'll be asked to utilize them in your exam. Okay, so you need to be able to work with them well and practice this quite a lot. Okay? So work through exam style questions on these.